Stop trying to be perfect. Do you know that there's scripture that says don't be too bad or too good? Don't believe me? Watch. In the book of Ecclesiastics 7 to 16 it says, So why ruin your life? Don't be too good or too bad, and don't be too wise or too foolish. Why should you die before your time? Try to be a little of this and a little of that. Even God's followers would do some good things and some bad things. A lot of people on TikTok will always preach about how doing this is wrong or doing that is wrong and how you're blocking your blessings or they'll show clips of pastors who are doing things that they said are too secular. But little do they tell you their life is not perfect. The thing is, God knows you are never going to be his level of righteous. He wants you to strive to be a better person, but you're never going to be perfect. This is even a scripture. In Psalms it says, Just as a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he himself knows our frame. He is mindful that we are but dust. He knows that we are nothing but dirt people. The word human actually means made of dirt. So for example, if you got a dog and he poops on your carpet or he pees on the carpet, you're not going to be like, What? W what are you doing? I can't believe this. You're going to understand because it's a dog. Dogs poop sometimes and sometimes they pee. You know, of course you're not going to be happy about it, but you're going to give them some room. You're going to give them some grace. As long as that dog is not eating somebody's eye or harming someone, you're going to be able to give that dog grace. And that's God. He knows that you are already in sinful nature. He knows that you are made from nothing but dirt. We're not made of the same material that angels are made of. So his expectations for us are are not the same expectations he has for himself but that doesn't mean go out and do wrong it just means don't be so hard on yourself a lot of new christians try to be very perfect because they want to be the total opposite of what they were when they were in the world that's why you'll get a lot of tiktokers who just became christians within the last two years and they're preaching at you like sin sin this sin that don't do this don't do that when the truth of the matter is there's going to be a lot of people in heaven who smoke there's going to be a lot of people in heaven who are baby mamas and baby daddies. There are going to be a lot of people in heaven who you wouldn't expect to be in heaven. I'm not saying go out and do these things, but I'm saying we don't know God. God is so mysterious. God is unknowable. He wants to talk to you through your own intuition. And I know people are going to hate this message, but I feel like this is the truth that should be shared. I feel like people really don't understand God and they put a lot of pressure on themselves and this makes them leave the church or not even be interested in Christianity. I believe that as long as you have God in your heart and your intention is to do the will of God, that is seeking the kingdom. The Bible says, first, seek the kingdom and all of his righteousness and everything else will be added unto you. Seeking God means being kind and being, you know, a good person.